learning with L and R, and today we are going to discuss about the new topic that is related to Roy adaptation model, and it is given by Sister Calista Roy. First of all, we would like to talk about about her, Doctor Calista Roy. Nurse, she is a nurse theorist, writer, lecturer, researcher, and teacher in nursing profession. Professor and nurse theorist at the Boston College of Nursing in Chestnut Hill, born at Los Angeles on October 14, 1939. In this, in this uh, unit, we have discussed various kind of theories and uh, all the theorists born in Los Angeles, you know. Bachelor of Arts with a major in nursing, Mount St. Mary's College, Los Angeles in 1963. Master's degree program in pediatric nursing, University of California, Los Angeles in 1966. Then she has done master's and PhD in sociology in 1973 and 1977 respectively. Worked with Dorothy E. Johnson, worked as faculty of Mount St. Mary's College in 1966, organized course content according to a view of person and family as adaptive systems. Ram as a basis of curriculum at Mount St. Mary's College. In 1970, the model was implemented in Mount St. Mary's School. In 1971, she was made chair of the nursing department at the college. Then what cover come in under the adaptation theory? It is a grand theory. Theoretical sources. Roy's adaptation model for nursing was derived in 1964 from Harry Halson's adaptation theory. Adaptive responses are a function of the incoming stimulus and the adaptive level. Roy combines Halson's work with Rappos' definition, definition of system and views the person as an adaptive system. Then after the development of her theory, Roy developed the model as a framework for nursing practice, research, and education. According to Roy, more than 1,500 faculty and students have contributed to the theoretical development of the adaptation model. Wow, that is a teamwork or the sense of cooperation and Roy adaptation model. The model uses concepts from Maslow to explore beliefs and values of persons. Roy's a holistic approach to nursing is based in humanism. Use of empirical evidence. A pilot research study and a survey research study from 1976 to 1977 led to some tentative confirmations of the model. Actually, what is the pilot research study? When your seniors, fourth year or MSc second year or post basic second year doing their research project before collecting the main data of information. Priorly, they try to do the actual research on a small group so that they can take care of their tool or any other intervention and if needed, then they can modify. From this beginning, the adaptation model has been supported through research in practice and in education. Major concepts and definitions. First one is system. A set of units so related or connected as to form a unity or whole and characterized by inputs, outputs and control and feedback processes. Uh, you know concepts or ideas, different kind of concepts of uh, concept of uh, or ideas we connect it with each other and it become model same here she used the word units and units is a, actually idea or concept and it is interconnected with each other adaptation level a constantly changing point made up of focal contextual and residual stimuli which represent the person's own standard of the range of stimuli to which one can respond with ordinary adaptive responses. Then adaptation problems. The occurrences of situations of inadequate response to need deficits or excesses. 
seen not as nursing diagnosis but areas of concern for the nurse related to adapting person or group with each adaptive model stimulus first one is focal stimulus the degree of change or stimulus most immediately confronting the person and the one to which the person must make an adaptive response that is the factor that precipitates behavior contextual stimuli all other stimuli present that present that contribute to the behavior caused or precipitated by the focal stimuli residual stimuli factors that may be affecting behavior but whose efforts are not validated then subsystems regulator subsystem coping mechanism which responds automatically through neural chemical endocrine processes and cognitive subsystem coping mechanism which responds to complex processes of perception and information processing judgment and emotion responses adaptive responses and ineffective responses first one adaptive responses responses that promote integrity of the person in terms of goals of survival growth reproduction and mastery ineffective response responses that do not contribute to adaptive goals that is survival growth reproduction and mastery adaptive modes physiological mode here may be physiological involve the body basic needs and ways of dealing with the adaptation in regard to fluid and electrolyte basic needs food clothes and shelter education too exercise and rest also elimination nutrition circulation and oxygen and regulation which includes the senses temperature and endocrine regulation these are the basic body needs self concept mode the composite of beliefs and feelings that one holds about oneself at a given time it is formed from perceptions particularly of others reactions and directs one's behavior adaptive modes role performance mode or interdependence mode role performance role function is the performance of the duties based on given positions in the society whatever the position of the person in the society according to that they can play their role and interdependence mode involve one relation with significant others and a support system for example in our college or hospital we can do the teamwork for each other to become successful at the end of the session with there is a 100% result of the students in this mode one maintains psychic integrity by meeting needs for nurturance and affection major assumptions what are that assumptions a person is a biopsychosocial being the person is in constant interaction with the changing environment to cope with the changing world person uses both innate and acquired mechanisms which are biological psychological and social in origin health and illnesses are inevitable dimensions of the person person's life to respond positively to environmental changes the person must adapt the person's adaptation is a function of the stimulus he is exposed to at his adaptation level the person's adaptation level is such that it comprises a zone indicating the range of stimulation that will lead to a positive response the person has four modes of adaptation which are physiological needs self concept role function and interdependence then nursing a theoretical system of the knowledge which prescribes a process of analysis and action related to the care of the ill or potentially ill person roy differentiates nursing as a science from nursing as a practice discipline then person a biopsycho social being is constant interaction with the changing environment the recipient of nursing care when they become sick or comes to the hospital as a living complex living complex adaptive system with interact 
internal processes acting to maintain adaptation in the four adaptive modes. The person as a living system is a whole made up of parts of subsystems that function as a unity for some purpose. Health. A state and a process of being and becoming an integrated and whole person lack of integration represents lack of health. Environment. All the conditions, circumstances and influences surrounding and affecting the development and behavior of persons or group. The input into the person as an adaptive system involving both internal and external factors. Any environmental change demand, demands increasing energy to adapt to the situation. Factors in the environment that affect the person are categorized as focal, contextual, and residual stimuli. Theoretical assertions. There are, uh, first one is stimuli adapt adaptation level, then coping mechanism, regulator, and cognitor. Then physiological function, self-concept role function and interdependence, adaptive and ineffective responses and it comes under input control process effectors and output respectively. And if the end, uh, end steps is not okay, adaptive and ineffective response from last step we can gain the feedback for stimuli adaptation level. Then, this is a row adaptation model. In the internal side, you can see the coping process. And stimuli comes to the coping process. And after that, the behavior comes out. The other things also include physiologic, physical, self-concept, group, identity, interdependence, and role function and when they generate uh, the behavior that is adaptation. Outcome theory, well art articulated conception of man as a nursing client and of nursing as an external regulatory mechanism. Logical form, both deductive and inductive, inductive it derives from Halson theory, Halson developed the concept of focal, contextual and residual stimuli which Roy defined within nursing to form a typology of factors related to adaptation levels of persons. Roy also uses other concepts and theory outside the discipline of nursing and relates these to her adaptation theory. Then the next is inductive. She developed the four adaptive modes from research and practice experiences of herself. Her colleagues and her students Roy built on a conceptual framework of adaptation and, and as a result developed a step-by-step -step model by which nurse used the nursing process to administer nursing care to promote adaptation in situations of health and illness. Then acceptance by the nursing community practice. This theory used by the nurses during their clinical posting. Useful for it, outline the features of the discipline and provides direction for practice. The model considers goals, values, the client and practitioner interventions using Roy's six steps nursing process. What are that? First one assesses behaviors, stimuli, then diagnosis, sets goals to promote adaptation, then nursing interventions, and after that, the evaluation. If any problem in evaluation, then we have to start the process again. Education. The model is a valuable tool to analyze overlap and distinctions between the professions of nursing and medicine. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Roy's model has been implemented as a basis for curriculum development in associate degree diploma, baccalaureate and higher degree programs in many countries. Then research. The model does generate many testable hypotheses related to practice and theory. Here 
the experts done the have done the researches and uh, the findings of their researches comes into existence and the it can practice it have practiced in our clinical or education area research studies related to royer adaptation model middle range theories have been derived from royer adaptation model the first one is women's perception of group support and adaptation to breast cancer then adaptation in children with cancer then cognitive adaptation and self consistency in hearing impaired older persons after that evaluation of the theory clarity logical claims to follow a holistic view but leaves out spiritual humanis humanistic and ex existential aspects of being a person simplicity has several major concepts and sub concepts and numerous relation statements complex evaluation of the theory generality generalizable to all settings in nursing practice but is limited in scope because it primarily addresses the concept of person environment adaptation and focuses primarily on the client empirical precision testable hypotheses have been derived from the model derivable uh, derivable derivable consequences has a clearly defined nursing process and can be useful in guiding clinical practice capable of generating new information through hypothesis and hypothesis testing thank you very much i hope you have clear with this